RC fam, what's good, what's good? Hope you guys are having a great day, man. Um, we back today, and today I'm bringing for you guys an unboxing and review of the new Arma Vortex 3S. Yep, you heard it. The new Arma Vortex 3S. I want to thank my boys over at RC Boca Hobbies for holding one down for me. I want to thank Jay, Brandon from Innovation RC, them my peoples over there. They were able to hold this down for me. Again, guys, appreciate y'all. And uh, but yeah, I am uh, super excited about this. Um, haven't had a 110 scale like this before. I've never had a rustler to compare it to. Uh, never had a granite. Um, the only 110 scale that I believe that I purchased recently was the Big Rock. So I'm super excited about this one here. Um, from the videos that I've seen, this thing is a little beast. So uh, I'm really excited about this purchase, guys. Really, really excited. So um, just give me a moment, guys. And we're going to start with the unboxing. Be right with you all. All right, guys. And we're back. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I actually got there's three versions or three colors that come um, with the uh, Vortex, which is the red, the purple, and the green. I went for the Rojo. I got the red, guys. I got the red. So let's go ahead and get this baby open and see what's in the box um for those guys that uh, are new to the game i'm fairly new i've been in it now two and a half going on three years this uh vortex was already out um a few years ago but it was made in a brush version it was a two-wheel drive i believe the price for it back then was 249.99 um and uh and yeah so they i guess they discontinued it and once they brought it back as you can see guys they brought it out like a animal a complete different beast but uh let me stop all the yapping and show you guys what i got in the box all right so here we go here we go here we go let's get this thing here move this to the side for a little bit Unwrap this thing here. Yeah, guys, this, this thing is beautiful. This thing is just beautiful. Um, as I told you guys before, man, I'm, I'm really excited for this because, again, I, I never had a uh, Rustler or uh, a 110 scale uh, as this right here. So I'm pretty excited over this, guys. Pretty excited. So I do show, I do see here actually guys, it does come with a nice wheelie bar. Um, I'm impressed with the nice little bumper action that they got here in the front. Um, so you guys can see the wheelie bar looking nice, looking beautiful. This one is a 4x4 3S capable uh, RC. Um, the chassis um pretty close again i don't have the granite but i've seen it um the chassis is pretty close to the granite it is fairly close to it um but yeah the truck is nice the only thing i'll be honest with you guys i honestly thought that these wheels were going to be a little bit more beefier it, it just looks a lot bigger i guess on screen and I thought that this was going to be a lot beefier. But I'm not complaining. This is this is nice. This will do. I could always uh, upgrade on the wheels and the tires and all that good stuff. So that, that that's not going to be an issue. But let's get to the bottom of it all. Oh, I don't want to extend this video way too much. I know you guys already done seen a few of these unboxings already. So I don't want to bore you guys with repetitive stuff. Um, so we have here the Firma ESC. This firma ESC is 2 and 3S capable. It is waterproof. 
Um, so we also have this 3200 kV motor with a heat sink and a fan. Um, forgot to mention that this ESC also comes with a fan. Um, what else here? We have these uh, double straps for our batteries. Having a battery to fit in there shouldn't be a problem, guys. A battery should be able to fit comfortably in there, you know. Um, and uh, what else we got here that I can show you guys? Um, stuff that you guys... Again, I don't want to make this thing so repetitive. I'm sure you guys already done heard a few things about this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, guys, um, one thing I wanted to mention, for a 3S lineup, this is on the higher end. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the granite is uh, 300, 299 99 The big rock, I think, was going for 319 99 And this, this was... was uh, Three seventy nine ninety nine. So, as far as the three S lineup is concerned, this will be on the higher end, guys. For those newbies that are trying to find out where they could get the best bang for their buck, where they could get a quality vehicle or RC, you know what? I haven't ran it yet, but I'll tell you what: three seventy nine ninety nine for a three S car is not bad. Versus what you're getting from the Rustler, um, which is a, a pretty $50 difference. I believe the Rustler goes for $429.99. Um, and again, that's something to consider. Um, for those who want to start off uh, with something affordable and durable, I think this baby right here might be your pick. Um, again, guys, uh, what else I wanted to mention about this? Um, oh, I'm going to assume here, there's an assumption that the reason why they were actually raised up the price is because this actually has AVC. Um, that could be a reason. I'm not 100% sure. Being that the electronics, the motor, and all that good stuff pretty much looks just like the granite. You know what I mean? It, it, it looks exactly what's in the um, big rock. I could be, you know, I, I need to double check on that, but I think it's almost the same thing, or it's the same thing. So I'm going to assume. Uh, that the reason why it is a little expensive, more expensive, I would say, or a little pricier, I'm not going to say expensive, is because of the fact that it comes with ABC. And the granite and the big rock does not come with ABC. In fact, I don't even think that the uh, 3S uh, Typhon uh, comes with ABC. So, um, yeah, I think that'll make the difference. Um, but as I was talking about the wheels... I'm gonna go ahead and put these babies on. These got a little bit more beef. And these are 14. Uh let's see here. These are 14 um millimeter hex, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I had to go ahead and grab these, um, which are these are 12, by the way. So I had to get these tweet uh mi 12 millimeter aluminum wheel hub, hub adop, uh, adapters that I'm going to be installing on this baby here. And uh, yeah, these are going on there stack. These are going on there ASAP. These are Duratrack C2 Stacker MT wheels and tires. So um, whoever is interested, this is uh, uh, item number DTXC. Five 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 one. All right. So, and you're gonna have to look into getting these aluminum wheel hub hub um, adapters, which is DTXC thirty five ninety six. If you guys are considering perhaps putting something a, uh, a little more beefier than this on your vortex. So, guys, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, giving me your support and your love all the time, man. Um, this is basically all I have for you today. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Tell a friend, tell a buddy, subscribe, like, hit that that uh, uh, that bell to remind you when I put up a new video, guys. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm going to holler. God bless you guys and uh, be well.